Huh? What's that? Boo! Ah! Gotcha! Oh, my hey, word. Kid, it's nice to meet ya. You're Edge, right? Of course you are. You don't have to tell me. Anyway, greetings from USTA headquarters. Little old me, the name's Welch. Also known I as Worse Welch. Do not at me. Girl. I'll be the one supporting you from Earth, okay? This will be fun. Looking forward to working with ya. Cheers. Uh. What is it, Edge? What's with that look on your face? Oh, you don't mind if I use your first name? Nah, of course you don't. No, I, uh... Boy, is this one indecisive or what? Yeesh. Hey, you need a good poke in the eyes, is that it? Come here. Poke, poke. Hey, hold up a sec. Oh, man. I heard each ship would be getting support from Earth. But I never imagined anything like this. I didn't think your support would be so cute, did you? Anyway, from here on out, I got your back, man. Straight to the fiery depths of hell! Uh, that's really not the kind of thing I want to be hearing before takeoff. Oh, relax, you'll be fine. Let's see now, your first destination is... Planet Eos, right? Fortunately, the unmanned exploration craft didn't report anything dangerous out there, like giant outer space bugs or whatever. So yeah, no worries, go for broke edge! <laughs> <sighs> Is this the kind of support we're to expect, ma'am? Ma'am? What am I, your mother? We're gonna be together for a while, kid, so let's dispense with the formalities. <sighs> oh, looks like you got another call. Oh, well, enough lover's patter for now. Talk to you later. Yo, Edge. Edge, hey, don't just cut the transmission like that. This channel is not for communication with the captain of the Kalnis, sir. Or is there something a common crew member can do for you? Captain Crow F. Almedio of the SRF-001 Aquila? Pretending to be all dutiful doesn't suit you, Edge. You skipped the departure ceremony, didn't you? Who cares? It's got nothing to do with you. Raimi was upset. You really can be a pain sometimes, you know that? You done? Look, just don't be too hard on her, okay? Seeing the two of you fight makes your big bro so sad. We're not actually fighting. And would you quit with the theatrics already? It's really irritating. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come on, Edge. Does it really bug you that much that I made, Captain? Actually, no, it doesn't. In fact, I think it's only natural you were promoted. It's just... You're getting so far ahead of me. You really haven't changed at all. Still the same kid you were back in school and at the academy. <sighs> I'm not as far ahead as you might think. There's no need for you to rush yourself. Goodbye. Wait a second! Edge. You realize just how important our duties are with the SRF, don't you? Everyone shares the same responsibility, captain or not. Look, we're all in the same boat here. I'm just as nervous as you are. Captain Almedio nervous? <laughs> what, we expecting meteor showers tomorrow? This isn't a joke. Look, Edge, how should I put this? Let's both give it our all, huh? Yeah, let's. Great. Well, that's all I got for now. Looks like it's almost time. Bon voyage! I love meteor showers. Bon voyage? We're going to the same place. Oh well. I suppose I can't stay mad forever. Alright then. Let's get the show on the road. Edge's eyes are so green. He's probably been infused with Mako. All hands in position. SRF-003 Kalnis. Initiate launch procedures. Roger. Roger.
So, this is it. Indeed it is. We've charged these children with the future of our species. Let us salute the departure of our seeds of hope. You can't be spewing zero, the word zero, hope one, like Akira. that. Launch preparations complete. Zero, zero, 002 Belena to follow. Yes, they're going to have to roll the credits now, chat. You've all been trained well. Keep a steady hand and perform as you always have. The time to step forward is upon us. Brave pioneers charged with the destiny of mankind about to depart for space unknown. I pray for the success of your journey. Oh my word, this music. Yeah, Star Ocean 4. I mean, Star Ocean in general, like, normally has long stretches of cutscenes, but 4 probably has, like, a lot of scenes in the beginning before it, like, really gets going. Hopefully when we get the combat, the audio is fine. Zero, zero, 001, Aquila, launch confirmed. Zero, zero, 002, Belena, preparing to launch. Zero, zero, 002, Belena, launch confirmed. SRF003, zero, zero, Calnus, engage! Yes, sir. Initiating launch. The fire emblem engage? That's one big wormhole. This is where we fight Ultra Necrozma. One hundred twenty seconds to warp out. Gravity balance. Ship functions, all normal. Prepare for warp out. Finally, Eos. And I'm gonna be the first to take that one small step onto the surface. <laughs> you really are just a big kid, Edge. Hey, it's a big deal for a guy, all right? An honor. Edge, be careful to keep the ship stable when we warp out. Yeah, just ignore me, why don't you? By the way, as I said, this game has, like, the longest opening. I just remembered that, like, Star Ocean 2, you fight a battle, and then, like, you have so much scenes in Arlia. I mean, I honestly, all the Star Oceans, honestly, kind of have a... They take a while to get going. I'm getting a gravity reading. There's a meteor-like object crossing our planned trajectory. But from this distance, I can't confirm any gravity wave interference. Meteor? The unidentified object has passed us. I'm detecting some minor fluctuations in the gravitational field. A meteor affecting our gravitational field? Isn't that strange? Yeah. Kelnus, commencing warp out. Ten seconds to warp out. Nine, eight, seven, six. Ah! 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 What the? What's going on? Status report! 
There's a fluctuation inside our wormhole, sir. An abnormal gravity wave is spreading fast. It's producing an error in our subspace flight tracer. Too late! We can't avoid it! What? Captain, interference from the gravity wave is spreading throughout the wormhole. Our planned warp out point has disappeared. We're gonna lose our navigational coordinates. Damn. What about the other four ships? No idea, sir. I'm not detecting them in subspace. Input a new coordinate axis. We've got to initiate an emergency warp out. Raimi, I'll handle three, five, and nine. You take the rest. Coordinate access input complete. Warp out preparations complete. Edge! Everything's ready. Captain. Emergency warp out. All hands, brace for impact. And then they all died and Star Ocean 4 ends. That's why it's like, not a very good game. Thanks for coming, everyone. Damn. Oh. Did we... Uh, crash land? Where are we? Oh, planet Eos. Dude, I cannot wait to go to all the planets again. That's the one thing I'm looking forward to. That and the combat. I'm just looking forward to, like, actually playing the game. Uh, honestly, most of what I talk about with games is, like, I love story and characters. But this game, I'm actually really excited to do the combat more so. Because I know the characters aren't great. And the story is, like, for what it is, it's neat, I guess? It's got some neat ideas. But again, as you know, in my opinion, a good story isn't really a good story without good characters, so. If only I'd been more careful. He's knocked out, but I don't think he's hurt, thank goodness. Err. Oh, poor Van. Raimi? Raimi? Raimi! Raimi, wake up! Edge. Thank God we're all safe. At least no one's critically wounded. Let's be grateful for small mercies. I'm issuing new directives. Status reports. Damage to the ship is severe. The Kalnus is in very serious condition, sir. However, based on my analysis of the data, I can say with confidence that we've arrived on planet Eos. All right, we made it after yeah. all! Please, continue. We're not the only ones who crash-landed, sir. I've detected other ships in the vicinity that probably encountered the warp anomaly. The Countess is here. Here's the Belena and Dante de Leon. And the Aramia. First, let's join the Belena and Dante de Leon crews. Once we're back in operating condition, we'll request further instructions from USTA headquarters. Any questions? Captain. What do you think happened to the Aquila? It appears the Aquila attempted an emergency warp out as well, but... I'm afraid that's the only information we currently have. Well, there's your answer on the Aquila. It concerns me, but there's nothing we can do right now. We have to concentrate on the task in front of us. The repair crew should prioritize subspace communication functions. 
We can't do anything without comms. I need those repairs completed double time. Understood? Yes, sir. Mr. Maverick. Sir. I'd like you to scout the area around the ship and make sure we're safe here. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. I can do that. <laughs> so this is Eos, the start of a new chapter in human history. Well, we better get the show on the road. I was worried about you guys after seeing what happened to the other ships, but it looks like the Countess got by pretty well. Ah, by the way, why don't you take this with you just in case. Sniper's bangle. I found it in the 002's wreckage and it was still intact, so I took it with me. Not much really, but feel free to equip it if it'll help. What does that do? Oh right, this game you have to like go items, equip items. It's strange. Improves its wearer's concentration. I mean, more defense is nice. Man, this is one, one hell of a wreck, but I guess I should be happy I'm alive, huh? Huh? You're from the Countess crew. I'm glad you made it through okay, too. Hello. Man, she sure did take a beating. What do you think, Andy? Can you fix her? Can I fix her? Who do you think you're talking to here? Of course I can. I don't think it'll take much longer than an evening. Kalnus actually held up pretty good, huh? Yeah. Edge, do you think Crow is okay? I do. He's not the type to let something like this do him in. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm sure he's fine. Anyway, how are things looking out here? It's just like the exploration craft reported. The environment on this continent seems perfectly suitable for human habitation. There's lots of primitive gymnospermae like these ferns and cycads. The climate is subtropical and... Well, to put it in Earth terms... It's a lot like the Jurassic period. The Jurassic? Think we'll run into any dinosaurs? Come on, the exploration report didn't say anything about any large-scale life forms. Raimi! What? Uh. Uh. What is that thing? Some kind of bug? It's a spider! Ray. What is it? Eliminate the spiders! Oh, well, they're super dead. Oh, how convenient that a sword just comes out. Damn it! Do you not see, like, the shield deflecting them? You're asking a lot. Oh, the Luminaries mark? No one told me this was the Dragon Quest XI spin-off I was never asking for. Did that work? Good. So they're not totally invincible. And that means I can do this! Oh, let's get it. I love this battle theme. Bring it on! We're just getting started! Good old blood on the keys. Good track. 
Hey, buddy. All the spiders must perish. Come on, let's do this. Yeah, the Faga. That was not a blindside? Okay, then. So the main gimmick here is blindsiding. You hold this and then you can blindside and that is where Star Ocean 6 got the blindside mechanic. And I think it guarantees like a critical hit. Similar to 6. Uh, I should have like a... an art, right? Yeah, Rising Blade. Your rising Blade is essentially a mirror blade. Alright, buddy. We're gonna build up that yield and XP board, which is what I normally do when I play this game. All right, nice job. Monster data out of the fog, though. Oh, I thought there'd be like a cutscene or something. Uh, let's go back to the countess really quick. I think there's uh, I think we're able to go back to that uh panel that we tried to go to prior. Hello. Hey, um, what exactly is going on there? Got me, dude. There's a bunch of spiders and I need to kill them. Glad to see you're in one piece. Have you created an item yet? You know our operator is Welch Vineyard, right? Boy, is she a sight for sore eyes. I, just... I couldn't pass up the opportunity to work with her. Anyway, I doubt you have any recipes yet, so how about I give you one that I found? This is like the worst Welch in all of Star Ocean. And she's never really a great character. I never find much interest in Welch, but this one is the worst. You can always fashion your own recipes, of course, but I figured you want to get right down to business. Just use the console in the conference room to bring up Welch. She'll help you with the rest. Oh, I try, but I just can't get it working. Why? Where have I gone wrong? I bet I know what it is. These injuries I suffer from the crash must be holding me back. Let's go visit Welch, I guess, and get this over with. Oh, wait, I can't do it now? Interesting. I thought I could. 